Hey friends, well guess what? We have some brand new art supplies we get to explore together. And when we're all done, you will have an art book of your very own artwork to, to keep and look at. So let's dig in and play around with what we've got. So one of the things that we're going to start with is a piece of watercolor paper. So your mom or dad will get that out for you. Also, you will want your paintbrush and your watercolor paints. And this is called a dropper or pipette. And then a small cup of water. <clears throat> all right, when you have all of those supplies gathered, we'll start. So <clears throat> let's try out using the pipette. It'll take, it takes a little bit of practice. So pick up your pipette and hold, you see that there's a, a skinny pointy end and then a big kind of balloon end. So if you put your fingers at the balloon end and kind of squish it like that gently, don't, don't get too rough with it because it's not designed to be used really roughly. It'll break or get, or get damaged if you're too rough with it. But <clears throat> just try squeezing it gently, like you're squeezing a bubble or a balloon. And then the way that it works is you squeeze it, dip it into the water, what, keeping, the, keeping your fingers pinched and squeezed the whole time. Dip the tip into the water and then open the balloon back up. Like relax your fingers a little bit to open the balloon back up. And then when you open your fingers up, the water gets sucked up into the pipette like a straw. So let's try it out outside in the air a few times. So you pinch it, dip it, open your fingers. That's how you do it. And then to get the water back out again, you pinch it again. And it pushes the water back out of the pipette. Let's practice it one more time. Pinch it, keep it, keep your fingers pinched and dip the tip in and then, and then with the tip in, you open up your fingers. So let's now, let's try it with the water. So I'm gonna bring our water over here. You can see, so I'm gonna pinch my fingers, dip the tip in, and now I'm going to open up my fingers and watch the water go up into the pipette. And then you can squeeze it back out into your water cup. Alright, so pinch, dip, open, sucks up the water like a straw. And then you can squeeze the water back out again into your jar. So now, we're gonna put some of that water onto our watercolor paper, like this. I'm gonna pinch, dip, open your fingers up to suck the water up into the pipette. And now, you can make put that water onto your watercolor paper. Make some nice bubbly bubbles of water all over your paper there. Now put your pipette down and pick up your paintbrush and paint those water drops back and forth, back and forth across your paper. Now we're done with the pipette for now. And you can now dip your paintbrush into your jar of water and pick out a color of paint that you want to put on your paper. I'm going to start with green. So I've put some water on my paintbrush and now I'm, now I'm stirring the green. I'm stirring, stirring, stir the green. Stir what the color, whatever color you choose. Stir it up. And now you have that color on your paintbrush and you can 
brush that color back and forth across your page. Get a little bit more on your paintbrush. Brush, brush. Ooh. Now just watch what that color does. Get the watercolor paint moving across your paper. When you're ready for a new color, dip your paintbrush back in your water to kind of wash the first color off. And then pick another color. I'm going to pick purple. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. And then brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush. Stir, stir. Brush, brush, brush. Ooh. Let's keep going, putting new colors all the way down your paper. Hi, yo, hi. Hey, hi, baby, so high, feeling free. Remember me, down the road, hand in hand, you and me. Hello, hey, 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 hey,